Hey YouTube, this is a Photoshop tutorial, right? Um, Photoshop CS3. I don't know nothing about Photoshop, right? I, I mean, like, half the stuff it does, you know? I really don't know much about it. This is just going to be a quick little effect called Liquify. And I want to show you it, uh, especially if you're making, you know, titles or whatever. So let's get Photoshop up. Um, this really is really simple, by the way. And I don't want people saying, oh, you know this, you know that about Photoshop. I don't really know half of the stuff it does. It's a really big app, you know? So if I just, um, I'll open, open something. Right, this is a random thing I did for my YouTube name, Apple Green or Mac. And then you just look up here, guys, as you can see, you've got all these tab menus and all that. I think so. you've got to filter, and then you can see liquefy, or you can do um, shift, shift command and X. And you click on that, and then it brings all this up. And you've got all the brush size, brush, dens brush density, brush pressure, and you can change all this. But all you do, guys, right? is you just click and drag and look you can do all this and you can do it on anything like you can just really mess around with the text if you know what I mean I know this isn't a really big effect or nothing this is I thought I'd show you because it can make your text look like that you know it looks so much cooler um I've messed up a little up a bit <laughs> But you can you can do so much stuff. I, did, I didn't notice this, but you see the gradient in the background obviously does that. As you can see, I'm stretching the red out a bit more there. If you do that more. But if you just have a big mumble jumble off across one word. So you just, you know, you can do so much cool stuff with it. So if I just quickly draw around with it and everything. X out of that. I know the Apple logo is messed up, but I was just trying to avoid hitting that if you've got it in the logo. Um, okay. Alright, so I'll save that. So you can just see a quick comparison to the original. Um, yeah, no. Saved. Open Finder. And then you can see the two. So that was the original one, guys. And then change to that. So as you can see, it looks a lot cooler. Like one of the um, logos that I quickly made, but I think it's pretty cool. Even though I need to redo it. I just like that, you know. Except you can see a bit of a mess up up there, but uh, yeah, it's alright. It's only sent the quick anyway. It's a really quick, cool effect, guys. I just thought I'd show you how to do that because if you're making um, a little logo for your YouTube channel, Twitter, or whatever social network it's like you're on, it can really spice something up if you can't get a cool font because fonts are a bugger if you want to get something looking right, you know. So that's all I'm going to show you in this video, guys. I don't know much about Photoshop. I'm just going to show you that quick, cool effect because it comes in handy. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.